While Ramsay's cuisine made him a top chef, it was his hair-trigger temper and proclivity for foul language that made him a television star, as seen in Hell's Kitchen, Kitchen Nightmares, and other shows. Anyone who thought Ramsay's abrasive, contentious demeanor was an act he put on for the cameras only needed to look at the headlines that followed him over the years, chronicling disagreements with fellow chefs, other celebrities, and even the occasional family member. Who do you think is Gordon Ramsay's biggest enemy till date? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There's no denying that Gordon Ramsay has provided countless hours of entertainment to television viewers, but there are also numerous well-documented examples of him clashing with other stories that, to be fair, have proven to be just as entertaining as any of his TV projects. Continue watching this video for an in-depth look at some of Gordon Ramsay's most famous feuds. The War of Words Between Gordon Ramsay and Jamie Oliver if there is another celebrity chef as well-known in his native Britain as Gordon Ramsay, it's arguably Jamie Oliver. This didn't exactly bring them closer together. The two chefs had a public feud for many years. It all started in 2009, where Ramsay made a disparaging remark about the physical appearance of an Australian TV presenter, prompting to reboot from Oliver. Oliver told the son, it's never good to criticize a woman. Ramsay clapped back, calling Oliver a one-pot wonder, and then sniping to TMZ that the last time he complained about a dish was in Jamie Oliver's restaurant. Oliver revealed his theory that Ramsay's motivations to the Daily Mail in 2015, Gordon will do anything to try to take the piss out of me because he's deeply jealous and can't quite work out what I do what I do and why he can't do that, he said. He's too busy shouting and screaming and making our industry look like a bunch of shouters and screamers. The feud appears to have ended when Oliver's restaurant empire crumbled. According to Ramsay, the two had apparently buried the hatchet and Ramsay reached out after learning about Oliver's death. Ramsey added that he and his former rival are absolutely friends. Marcus Samuelson made an outrageous accusation against Gordon Ramsay. Marcus Samuelson has joined the ranks of those who have publicly feuded with Gordon Ramsay. In fact, a shocking allegation about the celebrity chef appears in his 2012 memoir, Yes Chef. Samuelson recalls picking up the phone and hearing Ramsay yell at him in an excerpt shared by Eater New York. The problem? Samuelson had previously been asked by a reporter to name his favorite British chefs, and Ramsay's name had been omitted. Ramsay ended his rant with a threat, according to the book. We're shocked by these completely false and extremely offensive accusations, Ramsay's rep said in a statement. The rep continued, saying, We can only think this bizarre denial and these malicious comments have been made in order to garner publicity for Mr. Samuelson's book, and therefore we will pursue such actions as we deem appropriate against Mr. Samuelson and his publishers. A spokesperson from Samuelson's publisher, Random House, issued a statement in response, insisting Samuelson stands by a statement regarding Mr. Ramsey and has no further comment. Gordon Ramsey was barred from Mario Batali's restaurant after he insulted his fashion sense. In a 2009 Garden profile of Mario Batali, nearly a decade before his public demise, the chef revealed that he and Gordon Ramsey were feuding. Gordon bugs me, Batali declared, with Jay Rayner, the writer of the piece, recalling that he'd interviewed Batali 18 months earlier. In that interview, Batali let Ramsey have both barrels, said his food was dull, outdated, that the man had no understanding of the importance of ingredients, wrote Rayner. Now he goes about town calling me Fanta Pants, revealed Batali, a reference to the bright orange shorts favored by the chef. Batali, however, took action. I've banned him from my restaurants. Ramsey's people calling trying to book tables and I say no. I won't have him in there, he insisted. However, Batali indicated that he would be open to some sort of truce. If he called me himself and said, let's sit down for a drink, I'm sure it would be fine, Batali added. Would be cool, but right now it's not cool. Gordon Ramsay fired and later sued his father-in-law. Gordon Ramsay's feuds sometimes hit too close to home, as with the chef's father-in-law, Chris Hutchinson, who ran Ramsay's business empire until the chef fired him in 2010. Hutchinson told the Mail on Sunday, at the time that Ramsay locked me out of the business, sacked me and tried to make me the scapegoat, the bad guy. Admitting he'd taken money out of the company, Hutchison insisted he didn't do it unethically. When Ramsey sued his wife's father the following year, more details emerged. The Daily Mail reported on the lawsuit's shocking allegations that Hutchison hacked into Ramsey's computer and stole more than $2 million for his own personal use. Hutchison countersued, claiming he was fired unfairly, but the case was settled in 2012 when Ramsey and Hutchison reached an agreement. According to a statement provided to The Telegraph, the settlement's terms were confidential, but we can't confirm that Chris Hutchinson is no longer a director or shareholder of Gordon Ramsay's holdings, and all civil litigation and employment tribunal claims brought by each of the two parties and other family members have been withdrawn. Still, you have to imagine those family dinners are awkward, to say the least. 
Gordon Ramsay's light-hearted Twitter feud with Miss Piggy. Unlike most of Gordon Ramsay's feuds, this one was more playful than tragic. Gordon Ramsay invited Miss Piggy and the Swedish chef from The Muppet Show to judge an episode of his Fox series, MasterChef Junior, in 2017. Before the episode aired, Ramsay and Miss Piggy got into an argument on Twitter after she said viewers could see her trying to teach Gordon Ramsay how to cook. Piggy slammed Ramsay on Twitter as a guy who finished second to the Swedish chef at the annual Litvix Bake Off, while adding that a diva like Moy is contractually obligated to be difficult. Ramsay responded by stating that he had a habit of removing divas from his kitchen. Meanwhile, in an interview about her MasterChef Junior appearance, Piggy was dismissive of Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay? Which one was he? Oh yes, the one who was yelling all the time. She quipped. I thought his name was Gaylord. Anyway, Gordon was fantastic and polite with the young chefs, but for some reason, he constantly seemed to be shouting at Moy. I think I made him uncomfortable because I'm so much better than he is in the kitchen. Gordon Ramsay's relationship with his former mentor, Mark Pierre White, has soured. Gordon Ramsay mentioned his mentor, Marco Pierre White, in an interview with The New Yorker in 2007, admitting he owns everything to the legendary chef. Lightness, delicacy, finesse, balance. I wouldn't be where I'm now if it weren't for Marco, Ramsay declared. Working with the volatile White was no easy task. According to an excerpt from White's memoir, White Lies, published in The Independent, White once berated Ramsay so severely that he brought him to tears. I don't recall what he'd done wrong, but I yelled at him and lost it, said White. Gordon crouched down in the corner of the kitchen, buried his head in his hands and started sobbing. But it's possible that it wasn't just tough love. Ramsay and White have had a number of verbal spats since then. In an interview, White had nothing but contempt for his former protege. I will never speak to him again, he said. White elaborated in a 2012 GQ interview with Pierce Morgan, who pointed out that White had severed his relationship with Ramsay. It had good reason to, White explained. Revealing the straw that broke the camel's back was when he arrived at my wedding with a camera crew and filmed from the bushes. Gordon Ramsay and his protege Marcus Waring had a nasty feud. Gordon Ramsay was not only feuding with his former mentor, but a similar scenario played out with Ramsay's own protege, Chef Marcus Waring. During Ramsay's tenure at Aubergine, Waring worked under him, but the two eventually fell out over a restaurant dispute. If I never speak to that guy again in my life, it wouldn't bother me one bit. Wouldn't give a fuck. Waring said in a 2008 interview with Weight Rose Food Magazine via the Evening Standard. I admire Gordon. I learned a lot from him. But would I lose sleep knowing he wouldn't be there? No chance. Waring told the Financial Times in 2014 that he and Ramsey weren't still at odds, explaining that we went into litigation. In a subsequent interview with British GQ in 2019, Waring accepted full responsibility for their feud. Listen, you must understand it was me who started it with Gordon, he explained. I picked a fight. I no longer wanted to be kept in a corner moaning and feeling like I had nothing to offer his business, so I spoke up, and well, it got nasty. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. And let us know your thoughts in the video in the comment section below. See you in the next one.